Log in with your username and password. Select Change Password if you'd like to change it. Select the assessment you're taking. You can click on the menu icon to turn the music on or off, or to quit the game. You can quit the game at any point. The next time you log in, you can continue from where you left off, or start again. In the map view, click on the red circle to move to the next location. A single click, or tap if you're using a phone, will move you to the next screen. Try not to double click. After reading text, you will need to click on the screen to move on. You will be given a phone to communicate with the site manager and other people on site. Click on the phone apps to get information to answer questions. Scroll down on the phone to see more. People that you meet through the game will be added to your contacts list. Click on the contact list to discover more about each person. Click on the messages icon to look back at messages you have received or sent. Click on the home button to close the app. And the tutorial button is where you can see the tutorial again at any time. When using the calculator to answer maths questions, click on the send button to send your answer. The help button is where you will find help for maths questions. This is also another place you can find the tutorial. Multiple choice questions have one correct answer. For other questions, you'll be given a hint of how many answers you need to select. Hints may also tell you where to look to find answers. Try and answer the question correctly the first time as this counts towards your final score. In the non-capstone section, the answer will be given to you if you answer the question incorrectly three times. And in the capstone section at the end of the game, you will get only one attempt at the critical questions and the correct answer will not be given to you. You can keep on replaying the game until you pass.